Now it's time for us to talk health and this time around of having someone really, really, really important join us this morning to have a very interesting conversation. He is a medical doctor and a storyteller. Most of the time, his videos can be very scary mm. because when you listen to what he says every time, you literally just have to wake up on your bed open your eye and close it because if you do anything you might just be wrong joining us this morning <laughs> like google for health check is aproko doctor good morning to you how are you yeah. feeling good morning i'm good thanks I'm for joining good. us I'm good it's my pleasure okay so you have a friend mm -hmm. let's start with yeah. that one yes. jake how is jake uh, jake is back to his owner oh okay <laughs> jake, has, jake has gone back to the person that rightfully owns him oh really oh okay yes. okay all so right. oftentimes we really don't ask celebrities this question but we're all in this country together how are you feeling though how has 2024 been for you and what have you been up to aside of course making videos for a mechanic kitchen <laughs> i'm gonna just survive all alone well like because sometimes you make plans and then it looks like there are other plans being made for you mm. and um one of the biggest lessons i've actually had to learn especially in this trying times is at some point as long as you're alive and there's hope mm -hmm. just keep it moving and always try to op optimize for the best and you know see what you can make do it's whatever be so basically long and short mm -hmm. if life gives you pepper find a way to find some other spices and make pepper soup out of it and then drink water and then drink a lot of water after <laughs> it a lot of water after it okay so i'm looking at your ex profile and it's quite catchy uh it reads in 2015 i decided i was going to dedicate my life to helping the average african make healthier choices using stories as my tool so i'm curious if you could we do not have all the time in the world to talk about your story but if you could just walk us through a summary of what happened in 2015 that led to that decision yeah so um 2015 i came across this old man mm -hmm. who had a transient stroke so a transient stroke is like a mini stroke okay I mean, just you know and usually when he has to do his strokes the second one is usually worse than the first oh right so he had a stroke um i was opportune before then to meet with him talk to him about his health take him to the doctor as a student mm -hmm. and you know basically just tell him you need to make some lifestyle changes in order to prevent the next stroke and then in 2015 i was preparing for my final exams and i came across the same man okay this time he had another stroke and he didn't make it and so it oh, got no. me thinking was it that people did not realize how I, like i mean we spent hours with this man trying to educate him mm -hmm. but it's almost like he wasn't understanding it and so i said okay i was going to try to teach people about their health care and i tried to get into radio oh <laughs> yes okay. i did try to get into radio once um they told me i wasn't good enough for radio so oh. i went to another radio station in Anambra state you know mm. try it again and say we'll get back to you so i had to use what i had and that was my phones you know and just create messages and just you know, but nobody was paying attention mm -hmm. and we all have that parts in our lives where we feel oh but you're my friend i think you should be supporting me but it felt like nobody was even my classmates were not you know mm -hmm. so um one day something happened in the hospital and i decided to tell a story about it of course protecting protecting the identity of my clients and yes. all that and it went viral and it got me thinking people do love stories of course they do <laughs> people love stories because big that is how we communicate we mm. don't communicate with facts and figures i think that's one of the traps that we professionals fall into we as professionals spent our whole life being trained as professionals and then when it's now time to interface with the public we talk to them like they're professionals like us and we're wondering why there's a, some sort of disconnect but the people who tell stories tend to be the most interesting so because that's how our brains are wired our brains are, are wired to react most to stories even emotionally 
Okay. And it remembers it more. Exactly. Now, before we get to the next question, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to just put out a shout out to Nam Jazigawe University. Oh, come on. Don't Carlos. do this here. Sounds you are big now. Did Sounds you know, are now big. I'm saying that because I'm a graduate of Nam Jazigawe yep, University yep, as well. Did yep. you know oh, that we're I, ranking number... Wait, let me blow I my trumpet. I feel surrounded right we're now. We're ranking number 13 <laughs> among the top 50 universities in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, take would, that to I, the I, bank I would, and I, I didn't expect your school to be on that at that position, but congratulations to you guys. What do you mean? Well, why do you expect our school to be on that? I don't know. I just felt your school's that uh so here's the thing it's more of like perception they're louder than some other schools some other schools are just silent achievers while there's some that just they make a whole lot of noise and but the but the people who, who were silent achievers did not find the where are they you know they didn't <laughs> find his, on that. His number 20, 20 it's okay sansi let's keep it with him <laughs> all it's right let's get secret. back to business <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so what are you doing now i mean i mean it's now nine years after you made that decision what what what, what are you what are you up to like to so, achieve that dream so for the last nine years, okay. we've been basically telling stories. And there are a couple of things we started this year. Okay. One of which is tell better stories. Okay. Right. So how we started doing that is we started releasing short films mm. that okay. tell mm. things about healthcare. The first one was called Stitches. It's on YouTube. And it talks about cervical cancer. And one of the reasons I liked that story very much was because it had just three characters in it. Mm -hmm. It had a philandering husband, it had a faithful wife, and it had an angry son. And the story was about the last, the, the few moments of this woman's life, oh. right? It was just five minutes long. And at the end of that movie or film, whatever you call it, people were shocked that the virus responsible for cervical cancer can be transmitted sexually oh. mm. what's it called again hpv, HPV. yes mm. and i'm like but that's what i've spent the last like it's been like <laughs> been, nine been, years it's been there like screaming <laughs> this like to your hearing i thought you guys were hearing me and we're like no we just it just passes but because they could visualize it they could see it it made sense and then immediately after that we had a cervical cancer screen screening and thousands of women wow you wow. know Showed up. because now they could see it it was real and that and that's why i strongly believe that storytelling one of the ways to revolutionize our healthcare is basically storytelling and that's for me from the storytelling aspect right mm -hmm. and i also realized that i can't do everything mm -hmm. right so the next step that we decided to take was train other medical professionals to become better storytellers especially for the medical profession and we called it the Aproco Doctor Academy so it's called TADA you know <laughs> so and we've had a couple of sessions we'll be graduating the first cohorts by December okay and it's been an exciting school the you know the medical professionals are actually learning a lot and mm. I can't wait to see what happens when you know all this comes up we have another project coming up in December mm -hmm. but I think I'll be back here in December to so let that out. Yeah, okay. yeah. But it's, okay. it's a really exciting project and it's for kids. Oh. Now nice. the 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 most exciting project I have right now is aside from telling stories. So we can tell all the stories, but stories themselves are limited. Mm -hmm. Right? But we have to now create something that looks like an enabling environment for these people. And so one day I just thought about, you know, why 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 don't we show rather than tell? We've been talking about healthy lifestyle. We're talking about healthy practices. A lot of people just wake up and say, "Apoko doctor is against everything that we that we that we want <laughs> in life." That. It seems but that it way. I want to lie. It's just, it's just it's, it's against doctor, everything. Like, breathe, like, <laughs> yeah. like, breathe, and yeah, even like it's a problem. There's and a way you trouble. breathe. You're talking yeah, it's a zillion bacteria <laughs> in the air. There's a way you should not breathe, even in the breathing. Open, like what so is now, it? So now, redeem yourself. What is the healthiest way to live? Tell us. So <laughs> I said, okay. Um, came together with my team and we said, okay, let's show those people how to live healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one of the easiest ways that we decided to do it was, you know what? Let's have a party. A party. Nice. Yes. Let's have a party. Uh, one of the reasons we're having a party is it's not a lecture. So people don't get to sleep off. Mm -hmm. Right. Number two, in a party, your guards are down. You're there to have fun. Right. But we also want to change two narratives around parties. The first is when i was growing up i can't say for other people mm -hmm. we loved parties of one of the reasons we loved parties was 
you would go to a party, have fun, go home, sleep, and you're fine. But it's looking like these days we need certain other crutch to help us enjoy the party experience. If it's not narcotics, it's, you know, alcohol, it's, you know, somebody's dragging something, another person is crushing something. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of young people who are actually exposed to this narcotics even before they are ready sure. to make certain decisions like that. And so parties have a sort of negative vibe when you think of it mm -hmm. right and so we said okay let's change that let's return that narrative back to what it used to be that you can actually have the choice to party and say i'm going to a party and nobody looks at you sideways that's one it's also going to help people deal with um some of the mental issues that they're facing because okay. let's face it people don't just take narcotics because they want to um, some people are being pushed to the wall and, you know, I just need to escape those problems, mm -hmm. right? That's Which true. is why in those parties, we have something called safe spaces. So is that like a therapy session? Exactly. Oh. And the idea behind it is if you want to partake in the safe spaces, you're going to be given a silent disco headset. Okay. That in the midst of chaos, you and your therapist can hear each other in the midst of the chaos that's happening. Clearly. So it's like the whole world is trying to bring you down, but I'm having a safe space with this person and we can really hear each other and understand each other. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's the concept that we're playing with to see how we can actually bring back mental health into the, you know, the forefront. So of it's the, more like a party, like an event. Exactly. Okay. You know, right. you know in, into the forefront of the conversation. Another thing that's also going to happen is a lot of people are going to be introduced to healthy lifestyles, mm. right? Because that's the, I am showing you how easy it is to actually exercise in 30 minutes. You don't need to go to the gym. Mm. You can do it right there where you are and hopefully change the, change our healthcare landscape. Because right now, one of the problems we're having is non-communicable diseases are taking over and people are coming down with diseases like hypertension, diabetes, you know, obesity related and diseases. And at such a young age And at too. such a young age. Mm -hmm. And these things can actually be changed if we simply just change our lifestyles. Okay. Now, since we're talking about our lifestyles, now let's just delve straight into some medical myths that yep. we, we've been running with. For some of us, we've had this belief for the longest time. I'll start off with toilet infections. Can someone get infected by using a toilet? Hmm. That's you guys violence. probably have to fetch me <laughs> some armed policemen when I'm leaving here. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, toilet infections are no real. By the name toilet infections. Yes. She's already looking at me sideways. I yeah, said, I am. Mopo, this because most is familiar. Mopo. Now, <laughs> there are certain diseases or certain group of diseases called vaginitis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. There are a couple of courses of these diseases and the toilet is not one of them okay now when people say toilet infection what they are necessarily referring to is either a foul discharge am i right mm -hmm. yes <laughs> either you're referring to itching it, yeah a foul smell mm -hmm. now when you come to the vagina itself am i allowed to say vagina in radio Vagina, is it going to be it, muted something no, it, i think i think it, it it works but it's a biological, it's, it's a biological term. Term. It's a term why do we put these restrictions Thank it's you. breakfast radio no, it's but it's it a works. biological it term works. so okay. go ahead okay now when you look at the vagina the vagina itself is a tube mm -hmm. that has its own community mm -hmm. of you know um yeast bacteria you know it it it, it has its own community right and it has a particular ph that is slightly acidic okay that's why when ladies wear pants pants for a while you start to notice that some part is bleached it doesn't necessarily mean you know it just means Dirtiness. that you, yeah yeah your Acidity. ph is healthy mm -hmm. okay so to speak now some people feel that they need to help the vagina be cleaner and rather than clean the vulva the vulva is just the outward part of the vagina they go in and clean out we call that douching now when they go in and douch and wipe out everything there you're wiping out both the healthy bacteria and the unhealthy ones mm -hmm. right now 
When they do that, you have given opportunities for the wrong bacteria to actually get in and cause havoc. So foul smells, itching. That's you know those are some things that can come out. Some people there are some STIs that can also mimic some of these things, right? A green foul discharge could probably be an infection by trichomonas. You could also have chlamydia infection, right? That could give you that foul discharge, foul smelling and and all that mm -hmm. none of which was gotten from a toilet or can be gotten from a toilet but can it be transmitted through a toilet because if not then why do we have to squat while he's in the restroom public restrooms i mean some of them are like crazy dirty but the others that are like super clean but you still don't feel confident enough to use it okay if you're not confident enough to use it the question is why because fear of infection <laughs> how so that means it's safe to use it <laughs> is that what you're saying yes if a toilet is visibly clean to the eye it's safe to use right however there are certain things that you might also need to be wary of okay one of which is flashbacks right so uh let's say you're taking a dump for instance mm -hmm. and there's always that particular guy who refuses to let go until the final end mm -hmm. and then it just dumps and then mm -hmm. some water splash, splash, splashes back up if it does that of uh. course that's new bacteria in but you also need to understand that if your bacteria is healthy in the first place, mm -hmm. it will usually combat those guys because these other guys are there naturally. Now, okay. people also need to understand, and it's also a psychological thing, that the vagina doesn't have to smell like roses. Neither does it have to smell like lavender or pineapples or whatever it's supposed to smell like. It has its own natural smell. Some people decide to help the vagina and say, you know what? I'm going to get some feminine products that are scented and try to force it in and you're disrupting the natural pH of the vagina. The moment you do that, those new guys come in, disrupt everything and what you're fighting against, mm. you end up getting. I've got lots wow. of questions about oh, what you're... Lot, because but because thought, really so he, this is not good for the feminine hygiene or the feminine health. Why yeah. are organizations and agencies like NAFDAQ approving it? And uh, you, you go to the stores and the malls and you see them all over the rack. Why? We live in a capitalist society. Ah, oh, right. That's yeah, right. I think that answers it. I thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this one, I might have to go and find my integrated science teacher <laughs> okay. because he taught us classes of food. Just straight up, what class of food does beans belong to? If we're looking at what it contains more carbohydrates. You say what? Carbs. So all this would have been eating beans to lose weight. Eat beans so you be I tall. mean, look at us, brother. How much beans did we eat growing up? <laughs> How much beans were we forced to eat? So beans is carb. Yep. Wow. So when you eat rice and beans, and that's how much percent cap, of it wow. is that's protein? Hey. So you you have so so beans actually mm -hmm. for its for being a carb, it contains quite an amount of protein. But because I don't know whether it's because we live in a third world country mm. that you know everybody's looking for cheaper sources of protein and all that, and you say you know what since it has more protein than most of its brethren, let's just put it as protein. So that people may eat more of it and get some protein that they can get but beans has more carbohydrates and fiber than it does protein mm. right the same way oh. rice also has some bit of protein in it does that mean rice is protein rice has protein yes what Rice has some bit of protein. People should yeah. apologize to yeah. rice after all people have said about rice. <laughs> he has some rice. bit God of protein. I can't, I can't even imagine. Like so, rice has some at least a little bit. Yeah, check it out. Wow. How much protein in rice? Hey, there was something there. It yeah, always sounds as though rice is like hundred percent carbs. No. Oh wow. wow. <laughs> Oh poor, dear, poor Africa rice. doctor, we can't, I mean, we could stay here all day to just keep asking you, but I'm curious about this healthy party and a lot of people, I believe, are curious about your healthy party. Yep. When is it? It is 26th of October, 2024. Gates open 12 p.m. Yes, 12 p.m., not 12 a.m. Gates open 12 p.m. Um, till... Mama calls. No. no, how many people does your mother talk? call? So if I didn't but then, how many people would your mother call? Mother you know, call you now. You but, know, they, nobody's calling the plan, anybody. The plan is just to have <laughs> as much fun as, as we possible, can yeah. and okay. expose people to these healthy lifestyles. Um, venue? Venue is Maria Canola Park, okay. Victoria Island. You need to register in order to be there. But it's, it's free? Yeah, it's free. Okay. Totally free. Totally free. Right. There's, there's, there's a first edition and hopefully a kicks of something.
kicks or something because Abuja people are already asking for their own. Yeah. But Takot people, they're asking for their own. And so, the show never hold. Wow. You, know. you don't blow like this show. Sold out. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's free. <laughs> Sold out on arrival. I'm telling you, but thank you so much, Apoko Doctor, for being our guest on Breakfast in the City. And we hope we have a chat with you sooner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.